Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the Comedy Mothership here in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hedgeclair. Are you guys ready for the best fucking night of your life? Or not? Fuck yeah. Make some noise for Brian Redman, everybody. Hey, everybody. You're at Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world, brought to you by the Red Rose, the Yellow Rose, fucking Gel Blaster, Austin Security Guard Service, and Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey, which presents tonight's band, everybody. Am I right? That's the great Paul Deemer on the horns over there, Michael Gonzalez on the drums, Matt Muling on the electric guitar, John D's in blacker face tonight on the keys. Oh, and this right here is D Madness, everybody. On the motherfucking bass. We're gonna have so much fun tonight. Before we start tonight's episode, here's a little bit more from the amazing sponsors that made this all possible. Hey y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm 38 years old and I have never felt better in my entire life. On top of some heavy lifting, some hot yoga, some golf, some meditation, and some other new habits I've created, I'm also as hydrated as I've ever been in my entire life and it's because of Liquid IV, the category winning hydration brand fueling my well being and their hydration multiplier is one product that you might be missing out on in your daily routine. In just one stick, you get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down after a long night out and on long flights. We've had a lot of long nights out here since the mothership opened up. My schedule is completely changed. And meanwhile, Liquid IV has me popping up fast in the morning, fully hydrated like it's a fresh new day. Red Band? I love it. And the flavors are amazing. They have a brand new strawberry lemonade and sea berry. My favorite's the Concord grape and the cherry. One stick of Liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. 12 delicious, refreshing flavors to keep your hydration routine exciting. Contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. It's made with premium ingredients and it's non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. It is incredible. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code TONY at checkout. That's 20% off any Anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code Tony at liquidiv.com. Hey, everybody. Where are you in your mental health journey? No matter where you are, talking to a therapist who is trained to help can make a huge difference. They can help you find a new outlook on life and help you recover your energy, confidence, and joy. At Talkspace, you can find the right therapist with the right training for you. Finding a therapist can feel overwhelming, but Talkspace takes the pressure off that first step. It's very flexible, convenient, and it's an affordable way to get high-quality health care. At Talkspace.com, you match with a provider that's right for you, usually within a day or two. It's so convenient. There's no traveling to appointments, no missing work or lining up child care. You meet on your time when you're most comfortable. It's mental health care made easy. Red Band? Talkspace is private, secure, affordable, and your Talkspace therapist is always accessible to you. When you've met your therapy goals or simply want to cancel, Talkspace has a simple cancellation process and will work with you to get a prorated refund for unused time, if applicable. Talkspace is there for you to make your life better. Looking to renew and rejuvenate your life? Look to Talkspace. And now, get $100 off your first month when you go to Talkspace.com slash Tony to match with your dedicated therapist. Go to Talkspace.com slash Tony now to get $100 off. Talkspace.com slash Tony. Hey y'all, Mother's Day is right around the corner and I gotta tell you, it's not always easy to find a 76 year old woman something that is actually going to impress her, but I did it. It's the skylight frame. She says it brings her joy on a daily basis, watching the photos cycle and seeing new ones come in. Bonus points that it's super easy for her to use and it's super easy for us to send her new 
pictures. It is super cool. It's a sweet and meaningful gift that will give you a new way to stay in touch with those you love. It's so simple and fun to use, even if you're not tech savvy. No app or subscription required to send photos anytime from anywhere. Red Band. It's a great way to feel close to those you love, even when you're far away. I mean, we live way far from Ohio, and I could just send her photos, email photos, and it pops right up in her frame anytime we want to. It's effortlessly to set up. It only takes one minute. Even for the less tech-savvy people can use it. It looks just like a real photo frame, and it adds a beautiful touch to your home. It's got a gorgeous 10-inch or 15-inch touch screen. You can swipe through the photos with your finger and even tap on the heart button, and it will let the sender know you love the photo. This makes the frame interactive and fun to use. It holds thousands of photos, and they rotate all day long. You have 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love your skylight, they'll offer you a full refund. And now, as a special mother day offer get 10% off up to $30 off your frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash Tony that's right to get 10% off up to $30 off your purchase of a skylight frame just go to skylightframe.com slash Tony that's s-k-y-l-i-g-h-t-f-r-a-m-e dot com slash Tony Hey, y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm best friends with Joe Rogan, and it's easy for me to get tickets to anything. But I used to be a normal human being like you, and I know that buying tickets to your favorite events shouldn't be stressful. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater near you. With killer deals on last-minute tickets and their best price guarantee, you can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun you'll have. Red Band, you like to go out in public sometimes. Sometimes. Game time is the place for last minute ticket deals forget planning months in advance game time has deals on tickets right up to the day of event get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football basketball baseball concerts and more the game time guarantees means you will always get the best price if you find tickets in the same section in a row for less game time will credit you 110 percent of the difference get images of your seats before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive buy tickets in a matter of seconds Two taps and you're set. Tickets are sent directly to your phone, so you never have to dig through your email. That's right. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code KILLTONY for $20 off your first purchase. You got to buy tickets anyway. You might as well do it with the Game Time app and save $20. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code KILLTONY for $20 off Game Time. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. You guys ready to start tonight's episode or what? All right, well, every single week I have one or two of the funniest human beings in the world on this show. This week, no different. Make some noise for the great Big J Okerson and Ari Shafir. Yes. Big J Okerson. Ari motherfucking Shafir. Back again, Big J. Big J's first time at the mothership, April 5th. Dog Belly comes out on YouTube. The new special from the great Big J Okerson, truly one of my favorite comedians on planet Earth. Produced by the great Ari Shafir, everybody. Ah, Ari Shafir getting into the production Thank you. business. Thank you. all about me. I've never heard of your type of people being in show business. Uh, <laughs> Well, I got a loan for the special last minute from somebody else, and it uh, turned out we avoided a uh, thunderstorm that day. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> Ari, as they say, Ari, as they say, wears a lot of yarmulkes. Producer yarmulke, comedian uh, oh, yeah. yarmulke. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, welcome back. You guys have both been on the show before. You know what the fuck's going on. First yes, time at the mothership. What are some initial thoughts of this joint? It's pretty fucking amazing, Austin. You got to feel pretty yeah. good about this being in town. Fuck. The sign outside, if I gotta be critical, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's, I would not say understated. Well, you've seen out front, but perhaps you don't know that behind us right now, in the alleyway, is over 200 souls that signed up for the chance, for the possibility of 60 seconds on this stage. If they get pulled out of the bucket, you know their time is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means they have to wrap it up then or else they bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And then I interview them and we find out more about them. The entire thing is improvised. Big J, what are you thinking? I, 
Is that what's happening out back? <laughs> we, I we, we got dropped off when I thought that just a decent amount of homeless people happened to know me. <laughs> is that Young Comics? <laughs> I swear to God, I was like, man, I am popular in the hobo community. Get away from me, you vagrants. I threw money at some. They took it. It has been getting wild out there. We <laughs> we're, heard we're like, why are you dressed slightly better than regular homeless people? <laughs> Very slightly. It's, a, it's its own culture back there. The first week we found out there were people, uh, you know, making friends, laughing, drinking beers. The second week we found out that there was dominoes being played, that everybody's <laughs> bonding back there. And as the thing has gotten better, now there's a giant speaker to announce the name. And they cut into the show at that part, and then they hear that. And, uh, but a fun fact is somebody was about to start their own open mic in Back the there? alleyway during the show. Lock That's how crazy these comedians are. So they're like, wait, there's an audience. I mean, do you have to, don't you have to call city planning for stuff like this? Just like, <laughs> Not in Texas, baby. <laughs> you guys siph- are ready to, what? They're siphoning off power from the mothership to the fucking run their amps. <laughs> yeah. You guys ready to start this motherfucker or what, huh? Let's do it. 60 Seconds of Comedy is the name of the game. Going first tonight, everybody. Instead of going to the bucket, we're going to go with one of our favorite regulars. He is a big, silly goose. We watched him all transform from a broke, struggling open micer to a rich, wildly successful touring comedian headlining sold-out shows all over the world. Sing it if you know the words. This is Hans Kim. What's up? It's good to be here in Austin. I love Austin, even though it's a tiny little city. You can tell it's a small city because our airport is just a line. Some airports have concourses A through F. We just have left or right. I was in Indianapolis this weekend, and they had a trans march for their rights or whatever. I was like, I can't have sympathy for you. What the fuck are you doing in Indianapolis? We all know trans people are coastal creatures. Get to a shore, buddy. The salt air helps the transition. Why don't you identify as someone that's adapted to their environment? But yeah, these liberals, what are you going to do? They're, they're going crazy out here. Liberals during the pandemic, they were like, stop having fun, you're gonna kill people. So? (laughs) All right. All right, thank you. I think he's done. All right, really (laughs) held that last note there. Really held it. Not many people end their sets with the word so, but it's cool that you were able to give your sister a shout out and close your set (laughs) at the same damn time. Let's fucking go. That's actually just her job. Her full name's So Lee. Okay, (laughs) way to tag a perfect joke. Uh, I guess, uh, all right. I love it, Hans. Uh, Very, very interesting. You hate liberals. Uh, You've made that clear. Interesting joke about the trans march. You really saw a trans march? In yeah, it was like 17 of them. Wow. <laughs> There's something like uh, they should just march to San Francisco and they won't have to march ever again, right? Exactly. Something like that, but you should make it funnier. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> what do you guys think about the great Hans Kim? I'm not asking you. Your opinion uh-uh. means less than nothing. <laughs> Ari and Big J are here. Your hair is looking tremendous right now. Thank you, Ari. It's floppy, dude. You look like a monkey. Oh, thank you. Uh, yellow monkey, I guess. Um, thank you, Ari. I love your hair. You, <laughs> oh, got, nice. you got a spot <laughs> on the right side. <laughs> I think I saw you at the march. I look what. <laughs> I like, Hans, you have such an awesome delivery on his jokes. It's like tasting fine foods. Like he gives you the punchline, you're like, hmm. (laughs) (laughs) It's delightful. (laughs) It's witty and funny. 
Thank you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> the Finger air- sandwiches are funny. Oh. The airport is a line joke. Now, it's kind of specific directly to the Austin airport. How did you think that was going to go? I thought they were going to be like, yeah, our airport is a line. <laughs> yeah. I was looking for that local because love. It's because the airport's so small, is what you're saying. Yes. Compared it's, to pr- it's pretty decent size, though. I guess so, yeah. yeah you're right, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> or you'd have to break them down. <laughs> if you wrote the joke in 77, then yeah, that fucking fits. But it's Actually, square footage-wise, it's pretty large. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, tell your joke, but... Just know. <laughs> what else has been going on in your normal life this week, Hans Kim? I've been having a great weekend. A lot of people laughed at me in Indianapolis. Nice. Uh, I lost my drone there. Um, one of my hosts, uh, Max, very funny comedian, he brought a lot of his mistresses into the green room. Uh, it was a very <laughs> confusing situation. Mistresses. Uh, Is that the way? That he delivers everything he says that way. <laughs> What do you do with your hands when you're not holding a microphone and having a conversation? India, Indianapolis, huh? Yes. The last Indiana you were in was Indiana Jones. <laughs> Remember him? Remember him? Do the line. Do the line. Okie dokie, Dr. Tony. <laughs> what the hell? That's amazing. That's the first time I've ever asked you to do something over Asian-y before, and uh, I'm going to do it more often. (laughs) You could have done that the whole time. I'm really, I love you, Tony. I love it. I love you, Hans. I'm a very, very uh, big fan of yours. (laughs) Thank you. Fan is your brother's name. (laughs) All right, I can't help myself. I can't stop. Does that music always play behind you? Did you hear that? I didn't even notice. (laughs) <laughs> wow, that is incredible. <laughs> I don't what know do how you call that music. Koi pond rock? <laughs> now that's what I call koi pond rock. Are you ready to get fucking massaged? <laughs> Hans, do you ever get massages? I used to uh, once, w- back when I was uh, in Seattle, I listened to Brian Redband tell me about Backspace.com. Uh, wow. Backpage. Backpage. Oh, yeah. just rub maps. Rub maps. Rub maps. Oh, Jesus Christ. How was that? Really? It was a great sexual experience. <laughs> I had intercourse with a prostitute. She asked me for my ID, and I gave it to her. Oh. <laughs> What, wait, what was she looking wait, to prove? Wait, wait a second. Wait My a age. second. Hold on a second. She gave you, she asked for your ID and you gave it to her after the whole thing was over? No, no, before. She, uh, she was like, give me the money. And I pulled out $250. I was like, it's 200 right? And then she like grabbed the 250 and Yeah, I'm they'll like, do that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she asked for your ID? Yeah. To make, sure you, to make sure you weren't her brother, you think? <laughs> 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 she was Asian. <laughs> so $250. What do you get for... Uh, yeah, what do you get for that? She That's washed me down. She really focused on my asshole. She was really worried about <laughs> like, keeping my asshole clean. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, then I, uh, and then she... <laughs> laid down. I did missionary with her, and then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so clinical. I love it. I love the description. You know exactly how I like it. Keep going, Hans. <laughs> he missionary, sounds, he sounds like, and then. It sounds like someone the, Down syndrome being interrogated. <laughs> <laughs> That's my appearances here. Um, but yeah, no, she was like, uh, oh, you're big Korean dick. And I was like, is it really that big or is, he, uh-huh. is it the $250 speaking? Oh, wow. wow. You asked her that? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's interesting, the verbiage that she used, your big Korean dick, because that could be like three inches. <laughs> wow. A big Korean dick. How, do you condom or no condom? Condom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She put it on with her mouth. Did she do the whole she mouth? She put thing? it on with her mouth? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she she doesn't, she doesn't need brothers. to check Red Band's ID when he goes in there. <laughs> she has to punch his card. <laughs> 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 So true. Hans Kim, way to get the show fucking started, my friend. You do it every week. You're a goddamn monster. More sold out shows all over the world. You're killing it. Thank you, Tony. Hans Kim, everybody. That was Hans Kim. That was Hans Kim. That was Hans Kim. That was Hans Kim. Kim. First name out of the bucket tonight goes by the name of Christopher Ward. Christopher Ward, everybody. So with this part, they run to the back door. They have They're going to go further here, right? This is like well, further to go. it's tricky. Security's a lot tighter, but technically they're closer. How about getting Rogan to institute a zip line right to the stage? That would be good. That would be He's got the dough. Yeah, maybe do one more MeUndies ad and fucking get a zip line. Yeah. Zip line sounds like Zipix, which is a, a toothpick with tobacco in it. New sponsor of Kill Tony. So try Zipix, by the way. Six amazing flavors. Yeah, you know about this. Here's Christopher Ward, everybody. Make some noise for Christopher. What's going on? So I believe working at the like customer service or in call center is the dumbest job because you got to deal with the dumbest customers right anybody agree yeah right you got the dumbest customers because they always ask the dumbest questions right i worked at the call center about five years the number one question i always got was are you an american my response is always the same are you like that's the most american thing you can say you pass except for one customer would not fucking believe it kept screaming at me going you're not american you're not american up until the point he stated, and I quote, you are not American until you go overseas and kill some Arabs. Right? It's fucking extreme. Just go to the gas station for that. (laughs) Go to the gas station, get some smokes, get some lottery tickets, become a citizen. Go to the counter, he's like, sir, you ready to check out? (laughs) Are you? All right, I'm Chris (laughs) Ward. Christopher Ward making his Kill Tony debut. Am I yes. correct? Yes, sir. First time on this show. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. First time in hell a club. Yeah. This is wild. Yeah. You're How the do you first feel? One. Were you nervous? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I'm, I was not expecting to be called. Like, I thought I wasted gas coming down here, hanging out with everybody in the back. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. I'm just talking to How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? <laughs> Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Where at? Call centers? <laughs> no, I left that. You ever uh, do your jokes on any of the any of the customers? Hmm? You ever like fuck around with any of the customers? Like mess with them? Try not to because I was trying to keep my job. Yeah. But then ne- yeah, I left it and they wouldn't let me back because I think I'm a criminal. That's a whole other fucking <laughs> What do you do for work now? Uh Jack shit. I live off of the good graces of my parents. Uh <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I'm. Um, you Jewish? No. <laughs> I'm. Are you your parents taking membership? give you money and they let you stay eternally 22 at the same time? Like you? Do I look 22? Thank no, you. no, no, no. Okay. Your face looks horrendous. Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, I'm I was talking about. about <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. talking about. You have a lot of things that like parents <laughs> might not give their kids money. Like the you cut your hair and get a job, Christopher. No, they ever tell you that? He no, they're like too. He nice. looks like a narc at a skate park. <laughs> Big Jay Ogerson. I used to be that guy. Be honest and answer quick. What's heroin like? <laughs> we all want to know. Not once, not once. I know it, I look that way, but I wish I did because it'd be easier to explain this shit. But it just it's Do smoke weed. Do you stand weed. outside of convenience stores with your silent friends sometimes? <laughs> 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 Never heard that one before. What do you do for fun? I bet if you've looked like that for a long time, then I bet you have heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you stand in alleyways with comedians, yeah, comedians yeah. hours a week. All the fucking time, yeah. yeah. Where are you from originally? Um, well, I was a military brat, but we got stuck in Central Texas. So I was like born in El Paso, then, but I live in the clean area. About an hour and a half this from is here. Is no one cares about this question. Well, he was uh, fucking. I'm talking know. to him. Not you. Can Tony you give me Stark. your entire geographical background? Yeah. Tell yeah, us why you much. look the way you yeah, do look. Your face is stressed. <laughs> is the waist size on those pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's a great yeah. question. <laughs> I mean, that, what is it? You have a, uh, you have a thirty. I got the waistline of a priest. It only fits in boys' jeans, <laughs> but I got a. What the? I got an update to a boys' belt. You had a prepared joke about that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Seriously though, your waist is like a twenty-nine. Dude, I don't even know. I'm wearing a medium boys belt right it's now. Off that is, yeah, it's there is like, something going on there. You go trust me, I do have a burger in my backpack in the back alley right now. I'm really hoping it didn't what get stolen. What is that, stolen. a country song? <laughs> I got a burger in my backpack in the <laughs> alley right now. And I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Shut the fuck up. All right, all right, all right. Stop, stop. stop. Got a burger in my backpack. <laughs> I had a burger and a backpack in the alleyway. <laughs> uh, don't cut my hair anyway. Uh, don't you cry for me. My pants fall down and I act like a clown. <laughs> burger in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> you can take everything from me, Darlene, but you can't take the burger from my backpack. <laughs> Someone writing this down? Where's the burger from? Um, some place down the street. Wow, some way food to, truck. Way to really give him a good plug there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. Really a show business savvy. <laughs> That's the name of it. Yeah. What's the commercial he's gonna do? Holds up for three hours in a burger, <laughs> <laughs> right in a backpack. When you're, you're in Austin, head over to Burger down there, down somewhere, and get yourself <laughs> one of the burgers and put it away for a while, and then maybe eat it later. <laughs> <laughs> get it to a nice room temp. <laughs> Let them pickles really wilt into the bread. <laughs> How long has it been in the backpack? Um, Were you on bum 7:30? fights? What? Were you on bum fights ever? <laughs> bum fights? <laughs> <laughs> what, nope, do, what, what do you do for fun? How, what, do you, what, is your, what is your story, Christopher? We're trying to What's find what? out about you. Um, well, when I want to have a good time, I'll try to figure out how many cereals I try to put on my chest. Have you, have wait, you seen what, what's oh, happening? Oh, wait, wait, concave. what the fuck? Oh, uh, no. concave. Oh, what my happened? God. Did, what? I was oh, born. Now, now I see why your parents are still giving you money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they fucking, that's what happens when you drink fucking whiskey and fuck people. <laughs> I think he has a monkey heart. Yeah. Wait, let me get the Oh, shit. Right. Oh, oh, my gross. God. Oh, gross. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> My God. What Let's have some fun. Ari. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Watch Ari Shafir Piss in a Man's Chest, everybody. <laughs> this is so exciting. Only, yes, only at Rogan's Club will, will we, the first ever pissing in a chest happen. <laughs> Old piss chest fucking Christopher <laughs> over here. <laughs> you look like if the guy that got uh, kicked in This Is Sparta survived. <laughs> yeah. He got back, he goes, these guys mean business. Look. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yep. It looks like your nipples are trying to kiss. <laughs> They're very... Can you get, like, a breast implant, like, right in the middle or something? Like, is I can't get it fixed, but I'm scared, dude, because, like, it can pop back at any time. Oh. Was it, it was once out? No, I was born like this. This is genetic fucking... This is white supremacy right in front wow. of you. What? <laughs> this is... This is was, your, was, <laughs> was, your fa- was your father a spoon? <laughs> 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 My mother was a spork. Yeah. <laughs> Send a picture of that chest back to Hitler in time. <laughs> All right, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. <laughs> hey, let's mix it up a little. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That is incredible. You should do stand-up like this. I, I have Ladies before. and gentlemen, Hurt Kreischer, everybody. Very exciting. Very exciting. No, one time I was doing a show in, like, in Colleen. It was very... Oh my God! Darker Watching your heartbeat right yeah, now, right. it is like God. But someone has taken a shot out of my chest while I was trying to tell jokes. Wow! It's the only way I killed that night. Oh you also God. have an Audi belly button. Yeah, I'm I just, mean, it, it's, it's understated just, because of the other thing. Cycle. God, <laughs> God went out for a smoke break when he made you, bro. <laughs> tell that me, was, he threw on a monster cock at the end, though. <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no. Turns out that's an innie too. 
<laughs> He's got a seven inch tailbone. <laughs> Everything's upside down. You got spina bifida in your chest. <laughs> so what are some fun things that you do with that? Attract black holes. <laughs> oh, Eating cereal out of it, that was usually the number one question I've ever wow. gotten, so I had to try it. You have it. brothers and sisters? We've got a brother. Are no, they, they haven't eaten shit on my chest. That's fucking That's sick. That's not the question I was going to ask. Wow. I, wow. I, I host a better podcast <laughs> than you do. <laughs> <laughs> the question I was going to ask, do any of your uh, siblings or family members that you know of have any fucking wild deformities? <laughs> uh, my dad's got it slightly, but I've got it the worst in my family. Your dad's got it? Like slightly, but he's got the dad tits in, so it kind of filled in the, wow. the hole for him. Oh, also he's got a claw hand, but that's a separate yeah. thing. <laughs> Some yeah, the separate thing. <laughs> Do your guys' dads not have claw hands? <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, Christopher. Way to give us something to work with there. I mean, yeah. that is absolutely <laughs> amazing. My recommendation, always just perform yeah, like, just that. like that. Yeah, just sound like that. And then write jokes about that, because that's what's going to set you apart. I can't believe I'm watching your heartbeat right now. <laughs> it is amazing. Do you guys all see that on the, on the right side? <laughs> Holy shit, Tiger oh, Woods no. is here, everybody. I had no idea. The actual Tiger Woods. That's <laughs> incredible. Never heard that one before. <laughs> From the side, he goes away like one of those fish. Oh, yeah. Man, you can't really Man, see we, him from the side. You guys, you guys remember way back when we just thought his waist was fucked up? <laughs> He's like, check this out. <laughs> Wait, hold oh, up. God. <laughs> this should be the one-year anniversary that it felt so long ago. <laughs> uh, Christopher, fun times, my friend. You're walking away with a little joke book made oh, by yeah. the great Adrian. Wait, let me try to... Wait, can you lay down and I see if I make it in your chest? Tiger Woods, help him. This is, if you're wondering <laughs> how happy I am right now, let it be known that I, I truly say, have over never here, been dude. more excited. Cornhole it, cornhole it. Cornhole? I would cornhole Underhand? it. I, I, I like my overhand shot here. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, all right. I got another one. Wait, wait, wait. Lay back down. Lay back down. Wait, what the fuck are you? Oh, you got weed. Oh, shit. He's walking away with some weed. Oh, that was close. I got another one. Keep fucking playing. Yeah! Let's go. <laughs> we'll count it. We got to count that. <laughs> he got some weed and a couple joke books. There goes Christopher Ward, everybody. Follow him at the only wow. typer. And like wow. that, the show has begun. Wow. One of the that very, was very. Great. This what is a like, fucking surprise! I yeah. have never <laughs> been less envious of a thin person. <laughs> Talk about an ace up your sleeve. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> belly button alone was disgusting. It really was. Yeah, it was underrated belly button. He had the most third world problems on a white person I've ever seen. <laughs> Zach Hedrick. Zach Hedrick is next on Kill Tone. He had a hair lip chest. <laughs> <laughs> that chest was intense, dude. Intense. Did you guys grow up with somebody that had that, though? I knew two people growing up that had what? that. No really? Hyman. Yeah. What, oh, no shit, soul? Dude. <laughs> 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 Fucking incredible. What a fun show so far. You guys get it? Zach Hedrick's going to be coming around the corner any second now. Here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Hedrick. What's up? Hell yeah. Uh, so I just turned uh, 33. I've been going to a bunch of comic cons lately. Yeah, it's been cool. Uh, me and my friends, we went to one. Uh, we had a stipulation. We had to go as a super plus the last thing we Google searched, like for instance, my friend went as a super PlayStation 5, looks stupid, you know, stupid. Uh, my costume is cool, I went as a super uh, blonde takes big black cock. That was my costume. Yeah. It's gonna go to a costume a few weeks ago, my friend invited me, it was called uh, the Kentucky Comic Con. Yeah, I was like, dude, I'm pretty sure that's actually called a Civil War reenactment. Yeah, the Kentucky Comic Con. You know they just spell it with all K's? 
Yeah. Yeah, those people dressed in white are not stormtroopers. Yeah, they are storm the capital troopers. That's all right. Thank you, Zach Hedrick. I feel like you've been on this show before, right, Zach? Welcome yeah. back. Welcome back. I feel like that was better than your other sets have gone. Am I correct? Uh, yeah. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. I like your style. Uh, you look like you're running for the mayor of East Austin right now. Thank you. <laughs> How long have you been a uh, all gay spin class trainer for? Uh, not long enough. I love it. Remind us, what do you do for work? Uh, I work for Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, drop. How, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, four years. Four years. All of it here in Austin? Uh, no, mostly in Tampa uh, and Alabama. Tampa and Alabama. Yes, Man, sir. you fucking hate yeah. abortion, don't you? Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> what are you running from? This sounds like a place you have to leave because you get in trouble. Uh, what, say that again. Where am I from? Yeah, changing the uh, places. Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Oh, shit. Yeah. Where from? What, what are you running from? Oh, yeah. running from uh, fucking everything, dude. Like life. Child support? Nah. <laughs> no. Boat payments you knew you were never going to make? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That bait and tackle shop he went upside down on back in <laughs> Alabama. Yeah. He looks uh, like he still owes a few hundred dollars <laughs> on a kayak. <laughs> I'm going to get you back, Craig. Just give me a few months. <laughs> what do you owe money for? Uh, student loan debt. I've got a ton of that. What did you study? Uh, I have a master's in forensic psychology. No, oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You have I thought a... you were going to say, like, I have a doctorate wow. in radical. Uh, uh, <laughs> must be hard to find friends in that alleyway filled with 200 <laughs> fucking comedians. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. This is what the guys with master's degrees look like, right. everybody. Yeah, so Jesus. imagine what's going on out there. Hey, Charles Manson, why do you kill? <laughs> 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 have you ever done anything with that amazing degree that you nah, have? Why nah. is that? Well, I got into law school, and then I just decided I wanted to do comedy, and then just my life has just sucked ever since then. That's, Damn. Yeah. Are you broke? Uh, fuck yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> yeah. You still owe student loans? You still owe a lot? Uh, yeah. How much were we talking about? Probably 60000 Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. W worth it, though, right? Yeah. Gotta have an education. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least you're an armchair forensic psychologist now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you a lot ever of people can't say that. Yeah. Do you ever see any cases and like try to crack them or anything? Nah, like that? not really. You're not even interested in not the. Even, not anymore. No, right. I just gave it up entirely. You ever watch SVU and see if you can figure out who the killer is before the show <laughs> yeah, starts? Yeah, I did do that. I did From that. the cold open? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to get into that field in the first place? you have a family member killed? Unsolved crime no, or something like none that? none of that. I just uh, always watched Forensic Files growing up. Me and too. And was like, fuck yeah, let's... He wants to learn how to get that. away with things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want to, yeah, I just learn how to kill people. That's the only reason. Very, very interesting. Okay, what do you wow, do for fun? the crowd's fun? quiet because yeah. they believe him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why he moves so much. That's one of the rules of forensics. Get the fuck out of Taj after you bury the body, right? Yeah. yeah. He's going to wipe down the microphone when he's done with the... Oh, totally. <laughs> this so guy's only in town to sprinkle some teeth in the ocean so no one fucking... <laughs> <laughs> So, Zach, what do you do for fun nowadays? You're struggling as a comedian. Uh, yeah, just uh, just work out, skateboard, uh, watch wrestling. That's pretty much it's my shit. Really? Yep. That sounds like the profile of a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Not on stage. <laughs> but he's got to do it somewhere. <laughs> if you were going to kill somebody and get rid of the body uh, with your master's degree, what would you recommend to the Kill Tony fan base on how uh, to get away with murder? A little added bonus. Uh, yeah, acid. If you can get acid. Not LSD. Just uh, a tub full of acid. Let it soak. Let them soak. And then, yeah, let them how dissolve. How are you going to get a tub full of acid? I don't, I don't, that's, that, that's on me. I say burn the Dude. body, cut off the fingertips, take the teeth, yeah. get out of Dodge. That's good. Uh, get a wood chipper. You can probably find one of those what somewhere. Pigs? Yeah, pigs. That's, that's that. Pigs? That's, that's a good, a good one. one. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Bodies take a lot longer to burn than people think. A lot longer at a very yeah. high temperature. Interesting. And the... And the and, and the wood chipper would uh, shoot well, DNA all over the place everywhere. and contain it in yeah. the wood chipper itself. I uh, basically have a master's degree in yeah. forensic. Uh, how about, uh, how about uh, uh, pushing a volcano? 
That would be a, a yeah, no, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, they're uh, gonna get you else? there. What else we got? Sorry, that was good. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Arc, arc. We can what, do what I do with uh, Osama bin Laden's body and just never, never kill him, but just tell everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, give him back to his family. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. What, yeah. What's your love life like? Broke as shit, chasing uh, your love dreams. Love life here for a couple of weeks. Uh, hooked up with a chick the other night. That was pretty cool. How'd that happen? How did that uh, go down? You're standing outside of Shakespeare's. She walks out. What yeah, happens? well, just after a comedy show, just uh, this fucking place. It's so she, much to do here. I just talked to a chick. Uh, she was in the audience. She was. Uh, she's done comedy a few times. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's judging her. Yeah. 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 He's like, she was fine. <laughs> and notice you're speaking about her in the past tense. Did you use any of your forensic experience at the end of this? <laughs> no. No. If we check for local acid sales, you're clear. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Zach. When you were on last time, you got a little joke book. Uh, I got a big joke book. Really? Yeah. I love it. Well, then you already got one. Yeah. How about uh, how about uh, how about quicksand? Unless you have a hole in your chest, I can throw it in. I'm not giving you another one. (laughs) Good luck with that. There he goes, Zach Hedrick, everybody. Rock solid appearance. We have a special treat for all of you. You may have heard of golden ticket winners in the past. These are people that, when we're on the road, uh, if we find someone very, very talented, they can uh, perform on Kill Tony a minute in an interview anytime they want. They could come to where Kill Tony is and get on. This is one of the people that were one of the first people to ever win a golden ticket over five years ago in Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the return of Martin Phillips, everybody. Very, very interesting. Before there was Aaron Belial, before there was Michael Lair, there was Martin Phillips. What's up? Well, now we do it. Cool. Oh man, I, uh, I'm deathly afraid of uh, needles, so that's why I snort heroin. Uh, and, uh, accommodate myself, you know, even, even the vaccine, I was like, hey, can I snort this, please? Uh, uh, I, I, you know, I think in the vaccine, all the boosters, you know, but I, uh, I look like this before I got it, so it's... Uh, <laughs> I think I'll be obligated to say that because people get really worried when I say it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, I uh, I uh, asked this girl out recently, and uh, she said she wouldn't go out with me unless I was the last man on earth. So that was when my killing spree began. So <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay, cool. That's it. Amazing. Exactly a minute. He's done it again. If you watch his past appearances, it's just what he does. Martin Phillips. Welcome back, my friend. Oh, Found up? you in D.C. about five years ago or so. Yeah, four or five years. How's everything yeah. been going since the last time we saw uh, you? Uh, it's been all right. You know, it's been okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, about a year ago in D.C., though, yeah, well, first time ever... Mugged. They got me. You Didn't got I, mugged? I know. Oh, her, my God. I learned that muggers don't discriminate. They're, they, they, they're, yeah, they're pretty woke, okay? Uh, they go for anybody, okay? So. I will say very impressively, Tony, uh, Zach, is it Zach? Martin. Mark. Martin, I'm sorry. Martin was the fastest person to the stage from you announcing their name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> By a full minute. No, they, no. We, we had a trek up here, so I was <laughs> right there, so it wouldn't take too long. So I was waiting in the back, just like, you know, so we, we, we prepared. Yeah, we know. know Martin. We know you we didn't know. make a we long know. walk to be here. Uh, yeah, you didn't yeah, have to yeah, explain yeah, that yeah. part. I, ass- I assume we took that chair thing on the steps. <laughs> oh, I, I wish. Yeah. That's... Now let's talk about your disability. The okay. shirt you're wearing tonight oh, is. Oh no. <laughs> what about Does it? that come with like the diagnosis or something? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it was in. I did. It was in special needs at Big and Tall, right next. To, <laughs> yeah. Right next to Big and Tall and Marshalls. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like the TV screen at 4:30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's. I don't know. 
I found it online. I thought it was colorful. Oh, yeah. I thought it was like <laughs> Hot dog on the stick dot com. Yeah, okay. no. This is not a shit, okay? This is cool. This is cool. Uh, it is absolutely I think. incredible. You have your own style. Yeah. Uh, this kidnappable we, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's, uh, kidnappable I, boy chic. <laughs> yeah. I did mug. Now I gotta get kidnapped. That's, uh, that's the second one. So when these guys mugged you, can you describe it a little bit for us? Like, how does it go down? You so, say, like, are you fucking kidding me? No, well, no I, this is my first, like, fight or flight situation. And, right. I, and you can't I, do either one. So you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. There's got to be an option C on that one. It's <laughs> yeah, free. It's, it's free. Fight, fight, <laughs> scream for the heavens. <laughs> Did you think about playing dead like it was a yeah, bear or something was, like that? I was going to say, curl up in a bowl. That's the third option. Oh. Uh, but no, I'm flight. I was trying to get out of there. Right. But uh, the first time ever, I got punched in the face. Pretty, oh. pretty yeah, yeah. You broke my glasses. Uh, oh. and I, got, I, I didn't really have a black guy, but I got uh, well, well uh, but it looked like I was like wearing like makeup or something. So everybody was like, "Uh oh, Martin's expressing himself." It was like, <laughs> I was like, "No." That makes more sense than you getting mugged by yeah. somebody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> that. Wow. <laughs> so did you get a good look at the muggers? What did they uh, look like? I don't know. It was like it was dark outside. So uh, what did they say? I know a forensic psychologist. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, you think it was the same people who got Justice Smollett? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was dark. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I, wink, uh, wink. Saying it without saying <laughs> it, right? <laughs> Yeah, it was like it was a long police report. I was like, eh, 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 eh. because you know, what did you notice about these men? Well, they have no heart. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the scarier part is they watched me, but to get me to the ground, they actually they choked me to the ground, which was weird because I was like, yo, you try to mug me, or you know. Try to make me come, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. What are we yeah. doing? Hell yeah. Hey, yo, this motherfucker hot as a rock right now. Fuck this shit. That's what I'm guessing your mugger sounded like. I know you didn't get a good look at him. Yo. Jussie Smollett. He making me gay. Punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's just trying to <laughs> Next time, I was getting really gay. And they'll probably... I let her into it, and then it's like, oh, damn, now. Wow. Now I am getting my like, damn fucks. Like, so fuck. what, what did the muggers take from you? I know you didn't have so, any dignity in your pockets. Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Martin. Shut yeah. up, he's my friend, you idiots. <laughs> they, uh, I think they were trying to steal my car. Uh, they got my, my, my <laughs> That would have been fucked up, too. They get in, there's, like, offset pedals <laughs> and shit. Yeah. They're like, yo, what the fuck are wrong with this car? <laughs> 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 when the car crash <laughs> sound yeah, would have sorry. happened if you were in show business yeah. at all. But, uh, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> were you wearing that shirt when you got mugged? They no. would have taken your giant yeah. lollipop yeah. and your beat up old Mets hat. Yeah. I, I would be asking <laughs> for it. <laughs> Spinny hat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey yo, no. hey yo! Take everything, take everything. Leave the shirt, leave the shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What size shirt you wear? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Yo, this motherfucker got a clown nose in his pocket. <laughs> That's fucking low. <laughs> got a whip. Where was it? Where'd you get mugged? <laughs> well, I, know, I know DC. Where'd you get mugged? Uh, where in DC? Yeah. Uh, the Adams Morgan area. Damn, good falafel there though. Yeah, there is, yeah, that is true, yeah. <laughs> if only I had the falafel at the time, I guess. Instead, you had an <laughs> awful fall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You never get to use that joke. You can't really groan like you've ever heard that before because I just wrote yeah. that right here in front of you, so don't fucking yeah. go, Ugh. It might be not that funny, but it's smart as shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers, I'm judging yeah. you now. That sucks, dude. So um, do you have other shirts like that? No, this is my brightest shirt. Uh, I guess after this, I might never wear it again. Uh, so I guess 
I got to South. I've gotten compliments on this shirt. Hey. What hotel are you staying at? I'm staying with Molly, my friend. Oh, okay, I, I was gonna have someone go through the trash to see if uh, you left it here when you fly okay. back to DC. Yeah. I love it, man. What's your love life like, Martin Phillips? Uh, uh, you know, it's it's whatever, you know. Just, <laughs> yeah. do, do my best, you know. I bet when you fuck, you fuck. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I appreciate that I'm there, you know. So. <laughs> Big J? I'd rather have Martin's entire body and afflictions than that other guy's chest. Yeah, <laughs> 100%. Yeah, that was so uh, a hundred percent. I'd rather be stuck with that shirt on for the rest of my life than have the other guy's chest. Okay. It is incredible. Martin, you're a goddamn machine, dude. I love it every Good time job, you Martin. come through Thanks. to Austin, Thank Texas you. and flex on these motherfuckers. That's what being a golden ticket winner is all about. You've already got everything you can imagine. You have one of these already, right? Take one anyway. There you go. Martin Phillips, everybody. A new Bones Eye joke book for him. It's about to get stolen immediately when he hits that alleyway by somebody. They're just going to literally take it out of his hands. <laughs> hey, so give, me, muggable. give me that joke book, bitch. <laughs> Keep <All> the right. <laughs> shirt. Hey, guys, look what I got. They're like, nope. Blake Alexander. Blake Alexander is going to be up in a moment here. They are getting him from the alleyway. How many of you guys like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? Whoa. Brought to you by Gel Blaster, available in stores everywhere. Hey, Tony, I have a Gel Blaster for you in the back. Oh, cool. We'll play. Blake Alexander, everybody. Make some noise for Blake, everyone. Come on. How's it going, folks? Nice to see you. Hey, hey, I got a cool family. Uh, my aunt's disabled. Yeah, she's a full-blown card-carrying retard. And uh, my very disabled aunt was somehow allowed to marry this dude who's barely disabled. That's not cool. You know, some autistic guy using my aunt as a fleshlight. She's my flashlight. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a group of humans that has a 0% suicide rate. It's men that can suck their own dick. Yeah. yeah. God's funny, because not only did he give me the physical ability to suck my own dick, he also gave me the personality of someone who would. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And for anyone curious, Blake Alexander, what were you gonna say there at the end? Uh, yeah, for anyone curious, the experience of self-sucking feels like a zero percent receiving a blowjob, and one hundred percent sucking a penis. That's probably true. Blake Alexander. Welcome, welcome. You've been on before, right? Never, never, brother. Oh, I just must recognize you as being the bad guy from Superman 4. That's incredible. <laughs> Holy shit. That is incredible. Shit. You are spot on, my friend. Thank you. So, Blake, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, three and a half years. Where Wait. at? I started in, uh, in Colorado, Boulder, and then during the pandemic, went to Hawaii, did it for a couple years, and nice. here. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Hawaii, the home of the great Tulsi Gabbard, one of the good friends oh, of the show. Yeah, the yeah. Fucking legendary fucking American icon. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You ever uh, see her on the surf and be like, beat it, bitch, this is our wave. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. She's a strong patriot. I love her. Goddamn right, 100%. Yeah. Good, all right, good comeback. <laughs> <laughs> good. It was <laughs> funny to watch. Handicap <laughs> Martin was so in all of our hearts. I don't know if you knew that, but you came out here and really started hammering retard shit. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's good, and dude. I just caught eyes with this guy right up front, and he was right away not having it. He was like, you're talking about my friend Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> 
Blake has no idea what's gone on in the room before. Uh, none of these people, they don't get to listen to the show or anything, so they're all just... Uh, Your like, aunt was on right before you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be on her right after this. Whoa. <laughs> Boom. So, Blake, let's talk about it. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, so, I was doing some software engineering in the, after college, and that's what I went to school for, but now I'm bartending, managing at a restaurant on 6th Street. Oh, wow. Yeah. How long have you been bartending for? For about six months now, and in food service for like a year. I just got sick of staring at a computer for 10 hours a day and like right. sitting in my apartment and shit. I just wanted to be in front of people, moving around, having fun. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you're six months into bartending. How's yeah. it going? Anything crazy ever happened there? Uh, yeah, so I mean, this guy recently, he, uh, he was trying to offer me Coke. So he's like this, this veteran. This, and he's got an excuse. You know, he's a Marine veteran. But uh, yeah. after trying to buy me a shot, he offered me some Coke. And I was close. I was close. You denied a veteran? <laughs> exactly. 100%, <laughs> dude. Exactly. Out of respect for this beautiful country. <laughs> the wildest thing that happened is a guy tried to give you coke once? Well, I mean... On 6th Street? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even live here. I know what goes on weekly just by going on World Star Hip Hop. <laughs> hey, Ma Michael Malice and Blair White. That was fun. They came in. Wait, mm. what? Michael Malice and Blair White just came into our restaurant. That was a highlight. Oh. Once. Who's okay. Blair White from L.A. Law? No, no. She's a beautiful trans. Oh. She was today pictured with Tulsa Gabbard. Who? So. Oh. <laughs> we talked about, about Tulsi earlier. We did mention Tulsi earlier. We did talk about Tulsi, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, no. Okay. You're a, you're I saw Alex Jones uh, uh, right outside the street. You know, that was kind of fun. Just Yeah, you're yeah, naming sick, people yeah, yeah. that live in Austin, Blake. Yeah, yeah. That's not that big of a deal. Oh, the mayor of Austin came in once. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. A guy tried to stab my I saw Joe right? Rogan walk by the window yeah. once. Uh, <laughs> uh, one time I recognized from across the street Gary the, Clark Jr. Uh, yeah. The yeah. weekend manager from Allen's Boots drops in once in a while. That's always <laughs> cool. His name's Rich. Good the guy. sound yeah. guy for Nether Hour was in the other day <laughs> for a drink. And uh, yeah. we had the, the assistant manager at Latchkey was here the other day. Uh, hey, those are our names. Absolutely. Okie doke. <laughs> Blake Alexander. So tell us more. What do you do for fun? You're away from the computer. You think you're not a nerd anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this is super corny and vulnerable, but who cares? I'm, I'm really into <laughs> like meditation, mindfulness, the present moment, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how how vicious is comedy? Uh, I like fucking in Hawaii. I went through a trans phase. I you know I fucked you, a lot of trannies, hottest trannies in the world. Hawaii. Whoa, really? Tell us um, more about this. This is very uh, interesting. I, I went, I went, Normally <laughs> Hawaiians aren't good at hiding Can their I? coconuts no, like no, that. No, I no. <laughs> no, not the natives. The natives are all fat retards. Can I give you a pre? But, whoa, whoa, but, but, but the, my whoa. friend is a retard. <laughs> But the imports, brother, the imports. Buddy, the I watched thai, the, there was the an Japanese. HBO documentary years ago about the trans strippers of Hawaii, and he's not lying. Well, hotter than Thailand? Wow. It looks like if you're going to do it, that's probably the place. Dude, hell yeah. 97% woman, 3% man, brother. Right, you put yeah. it right inside <laughs> of her volcano, you know what I'm saying? No, a little, no, no. A little hot didn't... lava in there, a little fucking <laughs> Joe versus the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to be full gay, but you got tired of sucking your own dick? Dude, I'm telling you, brother. I broke my own seal, so. Any, wait, is that one of the condoms that you use? Uh, yeah, so no. what was wild? Give us an example of a wild night with a Hawaiian trans. <laughs> yeah, there's this, uh, this f cute little tie. <laughs> cute little tie in the tie. Jesus. The Asian trans are the best trans in my Hairless. research. Hairless. Yeah, definitely the closest, uh, you know, genders. The sexes are almost the same. Have you met Hans Kim? I've seen. I have. <laughs> I've seen him. I've met him Sometimes a little bit. Sometimes he turns into Kim Hans at yeah. night. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Han <laughs> Hans Kim possible. Also, I know a forensic <laughs> psychologist. You can tit fuck while your balls rest in his chest. <laughs> I, I I try it. <laughs> Put a little milk in his cereal bowl, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you see what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hell yeah. 
You ever go to like Cambodia or Thailand and? Well, so that's the thing is I went to Thailand when I was eight. I missed my high school graduation to go to Thailand to go to Bangkok. Yeah. And, well, uh, that's what you love to do. <laughs> for sure. And unfortunately, I was with family, so I didn't have the opportunity, you know, to Yeah. Unleash. Unfortunately, you couldn't go pay for Thai lady boys? Unfortunately, I couldn't <laughs> appreciate their Fucking culture folks. up close. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to revisit. So but, uh, in, in, in Hawaii. But, yeah, so there's a spectrum of kind of passability for trans. I'd say kind of black is the worst. And then kind of Asian is... Whoa, 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 Wait a second. What are you, a jury member? What's going on here? <laughs> and then, and then I'd say Latina's... Yeah, it's kind of the jewel. Like a Brazilian Latina. It's kind of the jewel. Yeah. But Asian, yeah. If you're, if you're rolling dice, if you're betting on it, it's cute. Uh, small, cute, feminine. Let me ask you this. Yes. That's what they do that I work at, too. <laughs> do you want... This comes up a lot in this question. Do you want a small, tiny, little... Shriveled up tiny wiener, or do you want like a, a monster hog? Now, I'm not in the trans at all, but yeah. just so you know my thing, if I'm doing it, let's go with that monster hog. Yeah, no, I hear you. I want to yeah. see the spectacle of a pretty chick with a big fat dick. Yeah, no, that's if reasonable. Go I don't there. want to, that's but fine. if I wanted to, that's what I'd want. That's fine. <laughs> I don't want that at all. I hear that, bro. My girlfriend's here. She'll tell you. Straight as an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if I was, I'd want a swinger. Yeah. Now it's fun, bro. It's fun. You want to have fun. You want to try on different costumes, experience life. Um, for me, I go, you know, if it's swinging, it's dangling, I'm not, I don't really care, you know, but yeah, sure. Let's, let's take a ride with the Anaconda. What do you mean, yeah, sure? <laughs> like the subject not. that we're talking about, I don't think sure is on the table. I don't think that's one but, of well, the multiple there, choice. There, well, I'm not there's, a size queen per se. There's a trade-off. There's a trade-off, as I said. But, you know, there's a passability issue with some people that have the bigger, you know, But it's like, it's like if somebody gives you an IPA. You're like, I don't want this, but I'll drink it. But it is strong, so yeah, yeah. yeah. It gets the job done. But it is strong. Wow. You actually, <laughs> that is incredible. Any of these yeah. ladies ever, like, Control you? Are they they like dominate you? you ever challenge no, a, I'm not into that. You ever challenge a push up contest? No, but well, that would be adorable. Yeah, <laughs> they're most they're tiny, you know, yeah. so they're, they're adorable. Yeah. Wow, this is such an interesting. But subject. yeah, yeah, no, it's just it's specifically Hawaii, like of all states, of all states, is kind of a unique. Who has the worst trans transsexuals of any state? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Do you have a prediction on that? I, I bet Montana's up there. Yeah, first one. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking Iowa. I was thinking, yeah, Indiana, I bet Colorado, Utah. I bet Colorado's like pretty a, gross. A big Mormon. Yeah, yeah. A big Mormon, like out for revenge in the second chapter of their life. Yeah. yeah. Like, a, like, a, yeah. like a chick wearing a dress with big hail bayon arm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bailing arms. Have you been with a Texas one yet? With the Texas? Texas? Have you been with the Texas trans yet? The old fucking H E B. He heard the fucking, question. The old <laughs> fucky the bucky. You know what I mean? The old fucking uh, the everything's bigger in Texas. The and, uh, old fucking. He uh, heard the question all three times. You just waiting if he's gonna tell the truth or not. <laughs> yeah. What? Here? Mm. In uh, Austin? Shit. Uh, Austin, Austin, Texas. Texas. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I am gonna lie. Yeah. No. We had a visitor from San Antonio. Ah, yeah, 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 more so. like Man Antonio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on. Hell yeah. So much fun, Blake Alexander. Oh, yeah. Fun set, fun interview. You're going home with a big, cool mothership oh, joke book. Handmade Texas Thank leather you, by the great Bones Eye. There he goes, Blake Alexander. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually do that. Let's give you, you guys want a special treat? Yeah. I present to you one of the amazing, amazing regulars on this show, famous for his fucking unbelievable joke writing, his unbelievable roasting skills. This is the one and only David motherfucking Lucas, everybody. <laughs> Damn, I just ran up them stairs, nigga. <laughs> you want to wait, like, do they have them play for 20 more seconds? Because the, the music sounds good. Here, go back behind the curtain no, again. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. It'll, it'll be I'll better this way. It'll be better this way. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Your next comedian 
your next comedian is a breath of fresh air, everybody. You might know him from his amazing workout videos on Instagram, where he takes pictures of what he did that day at the gym. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of my favorite comedians on planet Earth, the great David Lucas, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I, like, I love women, but I can't wait till we can go to the Tesla factory to just build us a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so ready for that shit. Like, she don't even got to be that functional for me. You know, like, she can be, like, slightly above Asperger's. Like, I, that, look. for real. Like, I, she can actually be a deaf mute. Like, I don't give a fuck. I, I'll teach that bitch how to stomp to communicate. You know what I mean? Like, two times for the bathroom, three times for food. Like, I just want a girl that's down for me, man. For real. Like, Down syndrome or some shit. Like, I. I just think retarded love would be so dope, man. Like, yeah. You ever seen how fixated retarded people are when they love some shit? Like, <laughs> my bitch will love me like she love a balloon. Like, balloon? <laughs> balloon? <laughs> I just want her to love me like she love the color yellow, you know? <laughs> All right, man, that's my time. Thank you. <clears throat> Hell yeah. <clears throat> this episode has had heavy use of the R word so far tonight. Uh, unspoken and, theme. And by they, heavy use, I mean David said it once. Did <laughs> Ari put something in my drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you what can't, you, you can't you, trust this nigga. This nigga. Well, uh, just I might go with it. Just yeah. enjoy the night. Man, shut your ass up, man. You got a, you got a fucking brave heart stripe in your hair, nigga. I, <laughs> The fuck you talking about? Just go with it, nigga. I ain't you. you look what you did to yourself, bro. This, this nigga look like a dog straight out of the pound, nigga. Your ass. <laughs> Motherfucker ain't had a good home in six months, boy. Your ass. Just... <laughs> Ari don't know how to act right now, nigga. Just acting like he going to a pep rally, boy. Your ass. <laughs> fuck you got going on, Ari? Why you do that shit, bro? You look like you have cornrows, but they're like wonky. They look like South American cornrows. See what I'm saying? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think he did sprinkle a little something in your drink, but it turns out it was cholesterol medication. So. <laughs> Tony, a nigga need to put hormones in your drink, nigga. Get the fuck up out of here. Oh, come on. Look how red you are, nigga. What the fuck going on, Tony? <laughs> You got to stop laying up with that nigga at the beach, yo ass. No way. <laughs> Fun fact, when I'm with my man at the beach, I'm face down. So <laughs> it's not that. Tony put I his... Do, I do hot yoga every, uh, every Monday before the show. That's just why like I'm a, so red. In, just, just like a gay guy. And, hot you, yoga. and you do hot yogurt before the show. <laughs> every, uh, <laughs> you fucking... Hot yogurt. <laughs> This I really felt David hauling up those steps. There really are. No one knows in the back. No, for the back fat, got... <laughs> for a fat person, there's like exorcist steps back there. And it's a lot to get up. It I is, don't know if vaping during it's making people sympathetic <laughs> to it. <laughs> man, fuck that it shit. It is true. Man. I sent you back there to catch your breath. And when I <laughs> said back, your name the second hits. time, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> My cardio getting better, bro. I just got a bite. Oh shit! Hell yeah! I just you got, got a, a bike. fucking bike, dude. Nigga, I was riding my bike down Congress like thirty niggas honked at me. I'm like, how y'all know me with a helmet on? <laughs> no, they were they were honking because you were in the way, David. You're <laughs> you're hanging off into the lane. That bike lane is not wide enough for you. They're they're not beeping because they recognize Tony, you. Tony, if you ride a bike, it won't have no seat, nigga. <laughs> 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 Motherfuckers just be sitting on the pole, nigga, pedaling like a motherfucker. <laughs> you son of a bitch. What kind of bike did you get? Shit, uh, Bonsai took me to, uh, is it called Bike Forum, Bonsai? Bike yeah. bike Forum, some shit yeah. like that. And I just bought a bike for under 1000 I told him. How much was it? It was like $1,000. Wow, $800 on the seat alone. Incredible. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> 
That bit okay. hard though, bro. I put green pedals on it. I did get a green wider peppers? seat. Green peppers? You put green peppers <laughs> on your bicycle? Wow. Pedals. I did oh. get a I did get a wider seat, no cap. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> I did get a wider seat. I'm like, hey my nigga, I need some cushion on this bit, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Does the bike, when you get on it, does it go, ow! That's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> ow! And then you sit down, ow! <laughs> That's because there's no seat on Tony's bike. No seat on Tony's bike, so he go out, especially if it's a hot day outside. That's true. That is, it's uh, already moisturized. It's, uh, <laughs> Look at Ari. Ari, are you stupid, boy. <laughs> <laughs> We were going on the road together. You couldn't come because your stupid fucking kid's birthday. Yeah, my kids, bitch. Black people put their kids priority. Nigga, come with your crazy ass. That's not what I've heard about black fathers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of rewriting of history are you trying to single-handedly do right now, David Lucas? Yeah. Hey, man, my kids is everything, dog. Fuck you, could tell, you could tell David takes care of his kids or his chain would be longer. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you look like a Coney Island hot dog eating champion, bitch. Shut your ass. Shut your ass up, man. You look like a rock and roll garbage man. Nigga, shut your. <laughs> Motherfucker, listen to heavy metal while he putting trash cans on the truck. Shut your ass up. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> 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 Holy shit, David Lucas. Ari, what what what's, what's what, up, dude? What inspired that shit right there? I'm doing it to fucking support Jay. So why, special. He but he shaved uh, his off. I, I'll explain it. But uh, oh, oh, that's what you're talking about. I always about. do one side of my hair like red or some kind of color. Oh. So Ari assumed I had that, but I've been running around so much I haven't been able to freshen it up. So now Ari just has it and I don't. <laughs> so why you ain't spray the top, nigga? How you gonna have a ball spot with a that wasn't up to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got too much money walking around here, ball nigga. Yo, <laughs> what if I got too much money, boy? Your special did good, nigga. All Thanks, them, dude. All them candles in the back. Who blew them out when you was done? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I did. Hey, put twenty black kids on there. They blow that shit out in thirty seconds, nigga. <laughs> My kids love blowing out candles. Every time she go to bath, the body works. <laughs> Is, is that a thing? All these stereotypes. I had no idea. The black kids I don't know blow out candles. Black dads are always there for their children. Wait, white kids don't blow out candles? Not like black children. What do you think they do? Like set it off like altars? Just like, like a... They probably no. call their dad to put it out. It's like, different just... blowing out candles on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you the only nigga up here who got a birthday in dog years, motherfucker. Get your ass. <laughs> You look like that German Shepherd from All Dogs Go to Heaven, nigga. You know Speaking of dog references, April 5th, Dog Belly out on YouTube. You have to watch it. Gang, Jay gang, Jay is that nigga, boy. Uh, Bro, you... you his, his special is called Dog Belly. Yours is going to be Hog Belly. <laughs> that was not... That's not cool. No, it's not, Tony. That, that was kind of lame. Tony, you ran it out. No, no, no. Hog because you're fat. <laughs> See, oh. now, saved it. What's Tony's special going to be called, y'all? My booty hurts? No. <laughs> Coming out. Oh, but with C-U-M-M-I-N-G. Mm, yeah. Okay. Coming out. Hell Dripping yeah. down my leg. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh, uh, bro, me and uh, Will, we uh, blazing uh, the stand-up live in Arizona. I just did the Milwaukee Improv Sold Out show, man. Me and Will tearing it up in Arizona for 420. Four twenty, baby. David yeah. Lucas Funny dot com. David Lucas Funny dot com. You can get the tickets, man. I appreciate all of y'all, man. Pull there up. There he goes, the great David Lucas, everybody. It's a lot easier going down the stairs, David. Back to the bucket we go. Oh shit, he's still, he's still trying. Big Al Gonzalez is next. I know Al Gonzalez. Big Al Gonzalez. We know Big Al. It's yeah. been a while since we've seen him. You guys still having fun out there, huh? Tony, this is this is tremendous. What? This is tremendous. It's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just so exciting. Yeah, Nine years out. and ten months we've been doing this show. Fuck yeah. Here he is, Big Al Gonzalez, everybody. <laughs> What's up, everybody? 
Oh, I love it here in Austin. Last time I was here, this lady came up to me after the show. She goes, you were so funny. I was like, thank you. She said, buy me a shot. I said, wait a second, that's not how it works. You said I was funny, you buy me a shot. She said, buy me a shot and I'll show you my good titty. I said, wait a second, did you just say good titty? Like she didn't say titty, she said titty. Now I was intrigued. Because I gotta be honest with you folks, I've seen my fair share of good titties. But I would have bought her two shots just to see that one shitty titty that she didn't want to talk about. Like how shitty was that titty? Like I've seen some pretty shitty titties. Like have you ever seen a titty with hair growing around the nipple? Yeah, I'm not into hairiolas, that's not my thing. Great, some of the ladies are laughing, the rest will be shaving tonight, that son of a bitch. My husband loves my hairiolas. Ugh, sorry, I just ran over here, I'm fat. Ugh. I recently went out on a date with a lesbian. Not bragging, just turned out we were both so drunk we thought the other was a hot chick. <laughs> now we're both disappointed. Thank you. Big Al Gonzalez. Now we've known Big Al for a long time. You've been doing this show for a long time. How long have you been doing stand-up, Big Al? Way too fucking long to be waiting in that alley, but yeah. Sorry, no insult to you. How about, the, how about the answer to the question? Oh, I've been doing it for about 16 years. 16 years, everybody. Absolutely. Very, very cool. And you've been on the show quite a few times. It seems like you're doing better than ever. You I've been doing pretty good. Very confident tonight during this Thank set. You. How's just, everything been going for you? Uh, it's been going pretty good. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I was on the other fucking side of this the road. This show is really showing you how out of shape Canadians Yes, we're all fucking out of shape. It's crazy so. how you run them right before they have to go on stage. <laughs> they, they don't have to run. Like if they oh, I had to run. I had to run. I was literally on the other side of the fucking uh, wall over there. Really? Yeah. I think the last time I did your show, I That's fucking ran. That's where a ran. lot of people with the last name Gonzalez belong, <laughs> on the other side of the wall. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I said it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on, Michael, sit down. I'm sorry, Michael. I'm sorry, Michael. Get back on the jumps, Michael. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so Big Al, how do you make money? You've been doing stand-up for 16 years. Do you make a living doing this? Cause it's, it's, I eat. It's, well, yeah. <laughs> no, I do. I make a living. I've been on the road uh, since uh, 2017, so I've been nonstop working every yeah, weekend. That's great. So It's been pretty fun. Right. So I was working with uh, Trevino when yeah. uh, I moved out here. Yeah. So I moved out here back in 2015 because my wife got a job at a university in San Antonio. Nice. And so then I had to pick up and fucking leave L.A. and come out here. So. And where'd you move from? Juarez? Uh, yeah, no. I, San Antonio. Yeah, San thanks. Antonio. More like Man Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Uh, oh shit! So Big Al, what's going on? So you've been on 16 years of the game. You've yeah. been on the road, and that but that road that you're on is a grinding, grueling road. Can you explain to some of these people <laughs> what it's like for you? Well, for me, I was working with a specific comic, so you kind of gotta adjust to working with a comic that you're working with. I was working with uh, Steve Trevino, I mean, so yeah, okay, yeah. So it was a lot of like adjusting to his lifestyle, and so I learned how to start fishing and hunting and shit like that. So. I have about four guns and a fishing pole now, so I'm officially a Texan, so thank you. Nobody gives a shit about guns and fishing poles. Cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so got what's great on? energy. Yeah. He's got a great... You, do, you seem like a trustworthy mechanic. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not going to bullshit me? These breaks can go a few more months. I'll give you a good quote. <laughs> What else is going on in your life? So give us something interesting yeah, yeah. since uh, the last time we've seen you. I've been doing uh, virtual reality. Whoa. Oh, hey. Wow. Is that a thing everybody's shaped like that does <laughs> VR? <laughs> I mean, no. Yeah, it's kind of if you're too big, you can go live your true life <laughs> in yeah, virtual yeah, reality. That's right. Yeah. Be a Wendy's girl with big tits. I'm a woman with great tits. <laughs> yeah, you can move without being out of breath in virtual that's true. reality just by shuffling your feet back and forth and moving forward. I Don't have it. legs in virtual reality in most places, so. VR right. porn, you mean? No, not VR porn. Like just other the whole stuff? life? Virtual comedy. Actually, we, s we opened up a virtual comedy club back in 2020. Comedy. What's that? <laughs> no, forget it. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. No, so it, it's great. You, you have like, we have sometimes like 20, 30 people that you're, you could try new jokes out and yeah. people sit there and actually listen. Really? And it's you kind draft of a yeah, suicide we, letter. Yeah, you could yeah. do anything you want. <laughs> it's incredible. 20 or 30 well, people we, sitting in their fucking desk at home. How exciting. Yeah, most, most people, like they went to Zoom comedy and it was just kind of depressing doing Zoom comedy. So 
my friend who uh, owned a virtual reality company, he uh, asked me, can you help us do a, a comedy club? And I was like, sure. So I went in as a consultant and we created a virtual reality club called uh, Failed to Render and uh, we've been doing it since then. So you can see them? You can yeah. See the crowd? Well, so it's kind of like this. It's not like this, but there's about anywhere between 20 to 80 virtual people in front of you at any time, plus people who are streaming and watching it live. But so like avatars? Do look, yeah, do look like avatars, Luigi, yeah. Luigi and it's like, yeah, it's like a bunch of different styles of people just fucking chilling no, out there. No, that's weird. So, yeah, totally weird. This is like an Asian Nintendo Wii girl like jumping and coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some fat guy named Gus in Idaho. Uh, uh, I'm a I'm a donut in VR You're a chat. Donut? Ah. Yeah, I'm a big fucking frosted donut with a chef hat. So you perform as a donut. I perform as a donut. <laughs> That's wow. fucking cool. I don't so. know. Hey, you know what? Kudos for getting into VR instead of killing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred <laughs> percent. Can you, while you're doing comedy, can you jerk off and then just they won't know? Yeah, you can technically be sitting at home without pants jerking off. Yes. Or it but looks like a donut's whacking off. It looks yeah. like a donut's whacking off. Correct. Wow. Just got a cruller coming out of them. Just fucking. <laughs> because the uh, the handles they fucking they go with your motion. Oh really? So they can see everything your fucking oh, hands are that doing. That sucks. You, you can drop that. one hand on, pound one you out. You could. Right? You could technically. You would just hear them breathing very heavily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like me, so, right? So uh, my wife's pain in the ass. Oh boy. Oh <laughs> God. Oh boy. <laughs> well, Big Al, great stuff. Way to do it. Yeah. You uh, did it again. I would love to have you on the secret show Thursday at Vulcan if you there can. There you go. Sure. Thursday night. Just Thank book you. the real spot. Big Al <laughs> Gonzalez. You've already got one of these, right? You have one? There you go. Have one by the great Bonesai. Follow him on Instagram. It's Bonesai, everybody. B O N E Z E Y E. 16 years. He just got the red band nod. <laughs> Brent Reed. Brent Reed is next. Ari, you remember him from the comedy store days, right? Al? Yeah, that's yeah, what I used sure. to hang out with him yeah, all the no, time. Not forever. Here. There you go. Brent Reed. How's everybody doing out there? Guy in the cowboy hat. What's your story? Where are you from? Oregon? From Oregon. The border. Which border? Whichever one needs them, right? Did you ever <laughs> catch one? Here he is, Brent Reed, everyone. Make some noise for Brent Reed. All right. This is fun. I wish I'd have worn a different shirt. I feel like I look like Ace Ventura penis detective. That's what I'm, just kidding. I'm straight, probably, who knows? It's all a spectrum. I did go to a gay bar recently. I'll tell you what, I am the belle of the ball at the gay bar. Lots of free drinks, lots of free drinks. Uh, buddy of mine, I think that the reason I got so many drinks spot for me is because I look and sound like the host of a gay game show. Like, come on down, boys. You are the weakest twink. That would be the name. That'd be the name of my game show. My buddy says the reason he thinks I got so many drinks bought for me is because I give off bottom vibes. So, next time I go to that gay bar, I'm buying every son of a bitch in there a drink to prove that I'm a top. If anybody's fucking anybody, it's gonna be me. I just moved here from Alabama, which surprises people because I'm, you know, well-spoken. <laughs> I called my dad today. I was like, hey, man, how's it going? He was like, brother, if I was any better, I'd be twins. Can somebody here explain to me what the fuck that means? <laughs> he always had those phrases. My favorite one growing up, he'd be explaining something, and I would give him advice. He's like, brother, I'm the one fucking this pig. You're the one holding it down. You ever heard that one? All right. Thank you. All Brent right. Brent Reed. Welcome, 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 Brent. Thank How you. Are you. First time Good on the Reed. show, Yeah, right? first time on the show. Welcome to Kill Tony. Thank you. My roommate was actually just up here, the guy with the headband. Fuck oh, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. He, he's got a roommate? He was going to be a forensic psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He fucked up bad. Yeah. He Do fucked up. <laughs> I assume you pay the rent. I'm sorry? I assume you pay the rent. Yeah. <laughs> we split it. Uh, yeah. In you pay. He, he, he pays me. In front of you? He pays me with his butt. That's how he pays me. My yeah. goodness. So yeah. you are from. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're from Alabama. Uh huh. Okay. So yeah. how long have you been here in Texas? Uh, three weeks. You and I actually, when you did your Monster Energy tour, you and I smoked weed together in Huntsville. I, I know bet you we did. 2016. Oh. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. 
That was uh, Huntsville, Alabama, I believe was my least favorite stop <laughs> on that tour. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun hey, for me. D Madness is back, everybody. Look at this fucking guy. Yeah, yeah. D Madness, uh, it's, uh, this guy might be gay, so. Uh, <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> he won't see me coming. No, 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 D. Don't, don't, no, don't. D, sit don't, down. Don't. Protect the holes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brent, are you gay? No. No, not at all. I know. Crazy. Wait, you just come out of here guns a blazing? <laughs> just guns a blazing, baby. You, uh, just, you look just like you like Weezer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's I a miss, lot like being gay, I guess. I missed the narrative. I thought he was gay. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm super I'm a sh- I'm super straight. He's it's weird. A, he's, he's, <laughs> I wouldn't say super straight. <laughs> yeah. He's Alabama gay, which is you're gay, but you can't admit it for the rest exactly. of the I life. can't tell my dad that I'm gay. Don't tell my dad. I'm All a right. gentleman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. Your dad thinks you left Alabama to play professional football somewhere else. A hundred percent. I had to tell my dad that I was moving halfway across the country to pursue comedy. He was like, Oh, so you're leaving your girlfriend and moving in with Zach. He was like, I gotcha. Yeah, so you did? You dad. left a girl in Alabama? I did, yeah. Wow. Wow. Why'd you yeah. leave? Why'd you bring her with you? Uh, I asked her to. She didn't want to. You Why? left your girl in Alabama. Is her uh-huh. name Jenny by any chance? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't get that joke because I was in the alleyway. Forrest I'd... Gump, the most famous person. Oh, ever. shit. I yeah. thought you were talking about a comedy. That Good one. It's Sorry. okay. Brent, stick No, with... but you should know that you have a similar shirt taste to an actual retarded guy. <laughs> <laughs> It, Thank it, you. It is incredible. <laughs> that is absolutely frightening. That looks like something you get after uh, fucking a Hawaiian trans person yeah. or something. Like that. <laughs> so, yep. Brent Reed, what do you do for work? Uh, I just quit my. I had a day job uh, at Amazon. I quit today. Uh huh. Uh, so right now I'm just. Thank you. <laughs> right now I'm just door dashing. Door dashing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What's that, when you shit on the step and leave? <laughs> 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 what do you do for fun, Brent Reed? Uh, I like nerd shit. I like watching movies and playing Dungeons and Dragons. No way. Dude, yeah. they probably chased you out of Alabama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, I used to do a show there where we at Stand Up Live in Huntsville where we played Dungeons and Dragons in front of a live audience. It was sounds fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Even this was... Queer's Games got books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was super cool. So what have you noticed? As a, what's a major difference between Huntsville, Alabama, and Austin, Texas? What are some new habits or fun things that you're getting into? It's a lot bigger. I like breakfast at Mexican restaurants. That's cool. Mm-hmm. They didn't have that in Alabama. They don't, what do they have for breakfast at Mexican restaurants? Nothing? Not, they didn't do breakfast. They didn't open for breakfast. What? Like in Alabama. Yeah. I, I think you that's never a thing. That? I'm positive you're wrong. No. I've never been there. You are (laughs) wrong. I don't think they did. You don't think that the Mexican restaurants in Alabama open up for breakfast? No, they don't. They super don't. You think they just, Mexicans just start their day at noon? Yeah. (laughs) Is that your inherent? 1130. Is it your inherent racism that just believes they don't start working until the (laughs) afternoon? (laughs) (laughs) My dad works in construction, so I've, I've hung out with a lot of Mexicans back home. But they only do night work? (laughs) Uh, <laughs> yeah, they wake up. They start late. Man, I feel like I'm bombing right now. Here we go. It's okay, Brent. Well, okay. I'll fill in the extra space. Thank you don't God. need to panic. Thank God you're here. So, Brent, tell us something. You have any special skills or talents or something like that? Uh, yeah. Special skills or talents? Anything I, about you I, at all. I, I work- may, have, may even level nine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. <laughs> For like six years in Alabama, I was a top 40 radio DJ. So Okay, I, can, nice. we, can you toss to a radio song for us? Let's hear your, <laughs> let's hear your radio DJ voice. All right. Uh, all the hits, 102.7 KISS FM. That was... Uh, boob dick by shit tits. That uh, coming up next. <laughs> what was coming your name? up next is some shit by Ariana Grande. Thanks for listening. Yeah, I don't know. What was wow. your name? It was just Brent Reed. Oh, it was the same. Oh. Yeah. DJ Brent Reed. Yeah. <laughs> in the in hey, the mix. Hey everybody, another hit coming right hey, up. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all. Slappy T here. Welcome back. <laughs> Come out this Friday. Gonna be live at Troy's all morning. We're gonna go to Devin for weather on the ones. <laughs> no one listens to radio anymore. They don't get. They don't understand what this is. <laughs> Ninth caller gets tickets to Ariana Grande. 
Big J is still on the radio, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'm on this a dying guy past it. Jay's still trying to hold on. So the girl you left in Alabama three weeks ago, am I correct? Yes. Have you been in communication with her? Yes. Ev- just about every day. Yeah. Any right. reconciliation possibilities? Yeah. It'll be, yeah, if, if I ever moved back home or if she was to come here, we'd probably be good, but she doesn't want to move to Texas. Why does someone in Alabama not want to move to Texas? It's or a very anywhere. funny, very funny answer. She, she gave is me she several reasons. Al- is she an Alabama three and a fucking <laughs> Austin zero? <laughs> she is. <laughs> she's a very pretty lady. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh so she's al- she's also a comic, but she didn't want to move. Uh, she didn't want to move in another. She lives in Birmingham, it's probably the Alabama. Wrong time to move to Austin if you're a comic. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. She but lives in a blue dot in a red state now. She's very political. She didn't want to move to oh, another blue Jesus dot in a red Christ. state. She's a, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 You, Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. If you're concerned what? about being liberal, you should just stay in Alabama. <laughs> right. Yeah. Totally brilliant. Not only is she beautiful, but the brains on your girl that. Uh, yeah. She'll well, fix good, things. Birmingham and Huntsville are surprisingly liberal. Sure they are, yeah. buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It cracks me up when people say that <laughs> these yeah, places. Like my group of friends, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It's like saying that's the warmest city in Antarctica. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Birmingham's a liberal city, but not Mexican breakfast liberal. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They're not out of hand. This is still America. <laughs> <laughs> Brent Reed, fun times. You're getting a little joke book by All the right. great Bones. Thank you so much. There you go. He's Thank on his you. way. Brent Reed. All right, we're going to do something fun right now, everybody. This guy might be one of the most polarizing characters in the history of the show. Some people love him, some people fucking absolutely despise him. We had a lot of fun. Many times off stage. Some on stage. The guy, his last appearance, admittedly, he was drunk and coked up, and he's back for revenge. Three weeks completely sober. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to give him a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the return of Uncle Laser, everybody. Y'all's parents ever tell you that turning on the overhead car light at nighttime was against the law? I'm here to tell you that's not a real fucking thing. Okay, I distinctly remember spilling my McDonald's french fries on the ground and reaching up there when I was eight years old, turned that light on, and my mama pulled the car over on the side road and backhanded the shit out of me, like the way you hit a woman. She said, you turn that goddamn light on, cops gonna pull us over, they gonna take you and your brother to CPS, y'all gonna have to live down with the smelly kids at the YMCA. You know the smelly kids I'm talking about with the silver teeth in their mouth, the bad kids whose parents weren't there. But that's not fucking illegal. But I tell you what is illegal, mama. Having that open container of bush light between your legs while you're driving, that's fucking illegal. I got pulled over the other night. Cop said, son, you know why I pulled you over? I said, because I got the overhead light on. He said, no, motherfucker, you're doing 90 and a 45 and you're swerving over the goddamn road. So he took me to jail. I called my mama to bail me out because all my friends are broke. My best friend don't even have a car. And, uh... I said, Mama, I need you to come get me. I'm in jail. She goes, what'd they book you for? I said, for turning the overhead the car light on at nighttime, you lying fucking bitch. <laughs> Uncle Laser with a minute, 10 seconds. <laughs> a very, very rock solid performance throughout. I thought about reading it off my phone, but then people going to read, they're going to know that I know how to read that fucking good. So. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin your branding if people know you can right. find out that you can read. <laughs> um, Uncle Laser, welcome back. Now, that's Thanks, a buddy. fun set because the Uncle Laser that we've known for the most part has been... <laughs> a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you've been on heavily, heavily, heavily on high amounts of 6th Street cocaine. The worst kind. I thought I got poison with amphetamine the other night, too, man. I mean, I knew I had good co- cocaine in my house, so I quit doing the cocaine that I bought, but I started getting like real sweaty and hot and shit. Everybody else was fine, but I was freaking out, but I didn't want them to freak out. So I was like, let me drive home, and I know I got some in my bathroom. And I did that, and I was fine. But then I ran out of that and started doing it again, and then I had to go to the mercy room in the morning. I started throwing up blood. It was, uh, 
a stomach ulcer from the street tacos I'd eaten. It wasn't the cocaine at all. So. Oh, wow. Do you, know how, do you know how many coke addicts I've heard blame it on something else? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It turns out I had some bad Chinese, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's not I, no, I just barf it up. No, it's, it's, it's what it was. It's tacos. That's yeah, yeah, that's why my heart stopped. <laughs> So Uncle Laser, am I right? Three weeks clean and sober? Is that about, about a ballpark? Yeah, I, uh, I did some DMT the other night. Okay. Well, I mean, that's like a spiritual thing, guys. Fucking relax, okay? It's different. Right? It's different. I, I blasted off and I talked to a little wizard man named Merlin. And he's like, look, cocaine's bad for the soul and bad for the nose. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I had like a little balance. And you're moment. like, but Merlin, I snorted this DMT. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Tony, you smoke it, but. Yeah, no, I know. I know, that's why it was, oh, you know, it was a joke. It's a joke. It wasn't reality. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Laser. So what have you been doing to fill the three weeks? Because you were really in it, man, right? You were doing it like daytime and yeah. stuff. Yeah, every Explain day. Explain to these people because I find it Well, look, be... it's not like a massive amount I was doing, but I get like two grams, do a gram and a half each night. But when you do that for the course of 37 days in a row, right. it catches yeah. up to you. Then that's here's a problem. An, here's another one, Ari, just how Coke people blame other things on it. <laughs> have you ever noticed that cocaine people always say, well, I don't do a lot. <laughs> I, have a whole, I have a problem and I fixed it, but I wasn't yeah. doing a lot. Because yeah. they know like one more yeah. person that does <laughs> more than one them. One more day than them. I just yeah. do some every day (laughs) a a gram and a half is a lot though right well how do you stay away from it do you leave your fanny pack at home so there's no one to hold it (laughs) (laughs) no really i I just quit drinking because as soon as i take a as soon as i crack that first beer i gotta get a bag it's like instantly simultaneously i got to have it it's it's also once you're once you're drinking the only way to drive home is do a little blow exactly i gotta wake you up so i don't black out right yeah it's not your fault that's not your fault (laughs) yeah Any judge in the world will let you off on that. Don't blame yourself for that. No, no, yeah. I'm being too hard on myself. So, Laser, what else has been going on? Fill us in. We haven't seen you in a while. A lot of people, you know, you called out the internet at one point. Fuck, you were yeah. you, you you out the whole said, internet? The Just whole fucking like internet. Al yeah. Gore? Yeah. Like everybody, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like everybody. You all quit making us angry. Exactly, dude. <laughs> okay, exactly. <laughs> nah, I just been doing a lot of like soul searching, all that weird shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Walk to going on walks and shit. I go on walks now. <laughs> oh, shit. I do a little yoga from time to time. I joined Tenth Planet wrestling dudes. I got tapped out by a sixteen year old girl the other day. That was humbling. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so shit. No. Oh, shit. oh yeah, you better believe it, bud. They Damn. got some fucking killers there. You bro. got Chris D'Elia, bro. Just fucking Oh, stop it. Stop it. Goddamn. Okay. So, laser. That's you ever, fi- all you ever do meth? Uh, I've smoked it out of a light bulb a time or two. You got to nice. put salt in the light bulb and shake out the film and put it out and then light it up. The yeah. film is actually what poisonous. Yeah. Everybody knows that, Ari. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Ask damn, Ari. Now I know. Re- read now the I... email, bud. Wow. Ask us something we don't know. Tell us something more about uh, your past drug use. Any other uh, interesting highlights that uh, we might not be... I mean, I've had terrible acid. I've never done heroin. That's the only thing I've never done. Oh, Uh, tonight's the night. (laughs) I was thinking we can get some black tar and push off. Yeah. Uh, I'm only in town another couple days. I want to write a song. Fucking here. (laughs) Bobby, get the guitar, dude. What are we doing, man? I love it. You into wrestling heavy? Yeah, 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 yeah. I grew up on it. Yeah. I saw you on the UFC the other day. Yeah, I was with Cowboy Cerrone. He's a homie of mine. He got inducted to the Hall of Fame. So, so cool. He took me there. We had a fat dip in it. But they surprised him because he didn't know his kids and everybody were there. And they right. came out. It was a touching moment, man. It was yeah. fucking real nice. It is right. super cool because nobody knows that it's going to happen. I was next to Daniel Cormier when he found out. Nice. It was fucking crazy. Very, very awesome. Yeah, but I didn't realize there's so many like UFC fighters there in general, like you know, in the stands. And I saw fucking Luke Rockholt like trying to choke out Tim Duncan because it was at fucking the San Antonio. It was at the building where the Spurs play. It was cool, man. It was a cool ass little right. little thing there. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a hallucination? <laughs> 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 Papa Smurf was screaming. <laughs> Tim Duncan hasn't been in San Antonio in 30 years. <laughs> David Robinson was his tag team partner. It was incredible, dude. Uncle Laser, you did it again. Any parting words? Like, now, the thing about Uncle Laser, it's important to remember, and I think, again, a lot of people have uh, forgotten this or they overlook at it, is that, you know, while I say he's funny and stuff and that I believe in him, he's only been doing it three months. That is a lot less time than uh, 
everybody you've seen tonight. I mean, you had someone with 16 years, 12 years, two and a half years, three and a half years. You're only a few months in, and you've already kicked what appeared to be your uh, biggest uh, hurdle. So, Well, Tony, it's early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I'd love to have you on The Secret Show Thursday at Vulcan. Whoa! <laughs> Baby Brian, give it a... Um, Brian, I'd love to come to it, but Thursday I actually am performing at Hyenas from a headlining show in Dallas. Oh, so. very cool. But next Thursday I'll be there. If you have me. Next Thursday, Uncle Laser, catch him at the fucking secret show. There on he goes, coke. everybody. On Coke. <laughs> yeah. Come on, make some noise for Uncle Laser, everybody. Come on. We have not had a female comedian all night. Should I pull out of this bucket until we get a lady out of here, huh? Let's see what happens here. Oh, I got one immediately. Look at that. Uh, make some noise for Emma Dallenberg. Emma Dallenberg. Emma Dallenberg. How fun. Dog Belly, April 5th. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen it yet, watch uh, Big J's, uh, Big J's brand new special. special on YouTube. I mean, unbelievable fucking... Also, check him out on the uh, roast of Burt Kreischer that we did. This fucking Tony, guy Tony Hitchcliffe out. kills on that. Here she is, everybody. The Kill Tony debut of Emma Dallenberg, everyone. Make some noise for Emma, everybody. These people wait all night for this spot. Come on, one time, all together. Boom. There you go. Oh, do I go? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Hi, how's it going, everybody? All right, no, it's all right. yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Um, you guys, I, uh, I, I'm in love right now. <laughs> it's like, actually, this one's for you, Tony. This is good. My, uh, he, he's five foot eight, and that's why it's a little silly because I'm a big bitch. You know, I'm, um, I'm six feet tall, and I was nervous to date him because I was like, I don't want to look so big by contrast. But I thought about it, and I was like, you know what, Emma. You kind of look like a Viking, right? <laughs> that that pillaged him. <laughs> that's that's kind of nice. But I was like, you know, is the sex gonna be weird? I was a little scared the sex was gonna be weird. But I was like, you know what? That it's it's I, I did it, and uh, it's not weird at all. It's it's actually kind of cute, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like I'm a tree. He's a little koala bear <laughs> going for a climb, you know? It's like, yo, baby, go get this eucalyptus. Oh, shit. Sorry. All right, Emma Dallenberg. Welcome to the show, Emma. I did, did I run my time? I didn't know. I didn't see a light. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Welcome, Emma. Very Thank good. Thank you. It's incredible that you couldn't see a light, even though you could change one from where you're standing right now. Up there, you could. We have a light. We have a bulb on number six that you could. Anyway. Yeah, I'd love Emma, to, to help. so cool, so good to see you. Ever since uh, Jamie Lannister left you for his sister, <laughs> you did so much good protecting of the of the families. I think uh, I'm too young to know who that is. Wow. That's from five years That's ago. A, yeah, no way. It's incredible. I don't know. I don't know. How old are you? I'm 23. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was all of it. Yep. <laughs> yep. She was so adorable telling her jokes, but I was like, what? I think it was my daughter was talking. She's like, and then he came and grabbed the thing, <laughs> and he came up, and it was he, and then he said, and then he said, and then he said, he caught up the thing. <laughs> my right. daughter is six foot tall also. Is, your, yeah. is the new guy a black dude? No. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have laughed at that. Like, no. Okay, so this is a real thing. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, like three years. Where at? Uh, Minneapolis. Nice. Mini you're the only thing mini in Minneapolis. <laughs> oh, wait, I fucked that up. No, no, I fucked that, I fucked that up. I did that backwards. <laughs> yeah. Boo me, everybody. Can you boo me, please? I did one bad. Thank you. I deserve that. I deserve that. Thank you. The least mini person from Minneapolis. Yeah, that's better. Right, Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to edit that in, switch that around. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. You started at how old? You started 20? Uh, when I was like 19. Ah, that's great. Yeah. 
good, okay. good, good. That's awesome. <laughs> you seem like a real stoner chick. What? <laughs> no? Oh, you, what are you No, about? you're just dumb as shit? Okay, I love it. I love it. It's one or the other, always. <laughs> Sometimes I mistake stone for vapid. I'm like, you're like a stoner chick. She's like, what? Was, what okay. is that even? I like how she was like, let me just get right into it, and then just stared at the crowd for seven <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Just go? <laughs> So Emma, are you really with a newly five foot eight guy? Uh, yeah. Well, it's been a little bit. Okay. Well, Where, he's yeah. Where'd yeah. you guys meet? Um, we we actually we both do stand up in Minneapolis. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Why is that funny? I don't know. Is this the first time you're in love? What? Is this the first time you've been in love? Uh, no, I. It's in a second. Who was the first one? Who? How did he hurt you? Oh, uh, <laughs> um. Well, we met working at Applebee's, which is worse. So I, I'm hoping I have more sure. hope for the second one. I think. What um, happened? He wh- fucking left you for the girl on mozzarella happened? sticks. Well, <laughs> honestly, you know, we did great for like three years, but then we just realized we were different people. Hey, right. hey, it's not your fault. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't you. You yeah, didn't see how great you were. Yeah. <laughs> you, no, no, look, look at me. I'm sorry. Look at me. You deserve happiness. You deserve everything you want in life. You gotta go out there. Hey, hey, you gotta go out there. And you gotta grab life by the balls. You're gonna show this world a thing or two. And hey, remember. <laughs> Jay's looking for you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yep. I agree. I think you should. I think you should go get your baby back. Baby back. <laughs> baby back. They met at Applebee's, fuckers. So, Emma, how do you make money? What exactly do you do? Solving um, groovy murder mysteries with your friends. <laughs> 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 That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm a bartender in the stand-up. Okay. Yep. You're bartending here in Austin right now? No, I live in Minneapolis. I'm just here for the week. Oh, okay. Yeah. What made you come here now, exactly? Um, I, uh, I have a friend from Berlin who uh, we were like, oh, we should meet someone in the U.S., and he loves... Joe Rogan, so we were like, yeah, let's go to Austin. That sounds good. Perfect. So it, it, you're on a trip with a new guy and the new boyfriend's back in Minneapolis? Well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Well, it's not like that with the Berlin man at all. Oh, right? isn't it? No. <laughs> Until he presents that weird, uncircumcised European pecker. <laughs> that's a fair, uh, yeah, that's a fair point, actually. I don't know. Do you think your German friend would like to meet uh, someone of the likes of the great Ari Shafir, perhaps? Uh, yeah, maybe he's got some explaining to do. Yeah. Ask him if he wants to meet the great grandson of 0156452. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> if he does try to fuck you, it's going to be in a hostile dorm. <laughs> Yeah, we're staying. Actually, I shouldn't say where I'm staying, but you know, yeah, in a hostel. So there's, there's, <laughs> That's there's where one. That's fuck, dude. There's That's one in us. Fuck. <laughs> You're gonna get herpes and bed bugs. Oh shit. <laughs> Emma, thank uh-huh. you so much for coming on this show. Here's a little joke book. Can you catch? Yeah, I can. There you go. There thank you. Go. you. <laughs> Emma Dallenberg, everybody. There you go. Thank you, Emma. She's walking out of here with a gel blaster as well. Everybody, every, everybody pulled out of the bucket leaves with a gel blaster tonight. How cool is that, huh? What's a gel Available blaster? Available in stores everywhere. What's a gel blaster? It's this right here. You put a little canister of these cool uh, absorbable gel balls in it, and you blast away. You could shoot whatever it's like you want. Ball, but like, some glow yeah. in the dark. Some are. Uh, what, ha- what happens to the people who get hit? They, they, they laugh. Water, yeah. They giggle. Oh. Yeah, they, they go, ha, It doesn't ha, explode. Ha. It's like it just hits you. Yeah, it's super cool. Do it. No, I don't have a canister right now, but. All right. We're low on ammo. <laughs> you guys ready to put a ribbon on this thing, huh? 
Come on, you guys ready to do something special right now? Uh, I know. It's been a long show. We've had a lot of fun, but there's only one way to end an episode like this. And that is with a man that has done more new minutes than anyone ever in the history of the show. One of the longest, the longest standing regular ever, which by the way, first Kill Tony regular Kim Congdon became a paid regular at the Comedy Store this week. How cool is that? The first ever regular to become a paid regular at the store. This young man right here, a force of nature, the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Bud Light is going to have a trans lady on their cans, which is great because it's really going to open up sponsorship opportunities for all of us. I actually got a call from a feminine hygiene company earlier today, and they're saying they want my image on all of their dental dams moving forward. <laughs> but seriously, Bud Light is going to have a trans person on their cans because they're tired of selling beer. Not to be outdone, Tinder has a new spokesperson, Ted Bundy. <laughs> Trump is getting arrested. I mean, he got fingerprinted, mug shots, and they even gave him an anal cavity search where they weirdly enough found confirmation that Aphex Twin will be performing at the upcoming coronation of King Charles III. Liberal parents be like, my son better not be attracted to women. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> that's all I've done. Wow, I loved that. Incredible. A minute, 20 seconds, no bear to be found. He wants no business going up against William. An incredible performance. Literally two or three of my favorite jokes of the entire night. Bud Light trans spokesperson because they're tired of selling beer <laughs> is just unbelievable to me. Short, sweet, whatever you said in the middle there, cut that shit, get right to Who's that. La who was laughing right there? Is that you, Ari? Yeah, so I couldn't tell. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> they won't sell like three yeah. more beers. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 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 He is crying. He's genuinely crying. It's a great joke. <laughs> Either he loves that joke or he just got threatened by the German guy that's uh, waiting for him in the alleyway. Remember when Bud Lights were calling them Americas? You could order an America at a bar. They renamed Budweiser America. Remember that? Yeah, damn like four right. Four or five years ago. Yeah, you had, you had one cold America, please. And that didn't catch on. So now they're going to trans. So they're going the other way. Yeah. They are. Yeah. That's Trans can, Trans says Matt cans. Mewling. He only speaks, fun fact, Matt Mewling speaks once every four months. <laughs> every <laughs> There's four episodes a month, so that's about one every 16 episodes. And he decided right now to take a stand and say the word, it's a trans cans, everybody. How about a hand for the great Matt Mewling, everybody? Letting it rip. Letting it rip. It is a trans can. Wait, that's Wait, not which, a real by thing, the way, right? Which, by the way, when you no, pull the tab, everything tucks back at the top. So <laughs> it kind of makes sense. It, I guess all cans have been trans the whole time. It's like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I love about you is when you were reading your notes off the thing, I know because you read it, it said on that paper, but seriously. <laughs> which really just made me laugh yeah. for some reason. He goes... But seriously, <laughs> it's such a funny thing to have in a speech. Yeah, I have a uh, disability, so <laughs> it's weird you bring that up, Sorry. motherfucker. Seriously. I wasn't trying to shame you. I wouldn't. They kicked me out of school in the fifth grade. Why? Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, that's, a, that's a late April Fool's joke. That's <laughs> what happens if you miss April Fool's Day. <laughs> you slept right through it. Got to bring him out on the second. 
Yeah, I actually had an inversion yesterday. I went to uh, San Antonio, the Six Flags down there, and it happens, I think, to like 25 to 30% of people. It's when you're on a roller coaster and when you're upside down. Something happened to my penis, and it literally <laughs> inverted back into my tummy. So it happens to like 25% of people, but... Wow. <laughs> it comes One out, out of four people. <laughs> Does it eventually come back out, or do you have to like do exercises? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, your voice sounded like such a little bitch, dude. <laughs> it's hard to fucking understand, yo asshole, Toss. <laughs> oh, shit. He's powering up. We've seen this before, folks, when he gets passionate about something. Yeah, I mean, I have a fucking inversion right now, dude. My thing literally is inside of me. Wow. Is there a solution? Have you tried blowing on your thumb really hard? <laughs> Yeah, I actually did try that earlier, dumbass. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> the fuck, man? He yeah, was blowing on it for like 30 minutes earlier, dude. I thought it would pop out, but it didn't. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Incredible to have. Have you tried blowing into your butt? Would you want to later? Yeah, I'll do it for you. Okay. Yeah. But no, I haven't tried blowing into my butt. I think it'd be hard for me to do that. Yeah, Ari, nice suggestion, idiot. Right. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck is going on? You were being so sweet crying about the thing earlier, and then you're asking if I can blow into my fucking butt. What does it look like? How would I do that right now? I kind of meant if someone else would blow into your butt. That's what I meant. Well, that's not what you fucking said. No, that's true. That's not what I said. <laughs> well, be clear, dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean, seriously. We're trying to have fun tonight. Uh, I'm just trying to help your inversion. And word of the wise, don't go to the Chupacabra Cantina. I literally fell through a fucking five foot in diameter hole over at that piece of shit. I swear to God, I'm gonna find the owner and I'm gonna trap them in something. What? Yeah, I literally it was like a 10 foot fucking fall. I was at the Chupacabra Cantina the other night, right across the street, and I fell through this fucking. Like five foot diameter hole. I swear to God, what? I'm gonna figure out where the guy lives and I'm gonna trap his fucking ass in something. You're gonna trap? How long were you trapped for? Shit, I was in there for two days. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? You were eye for an eye. You're gonna trap him now for several days. Yep. Yeah. Then you got his gold. And then what? No, I really didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> this is something William notoriously loves slightly <laughs> fucking Jesus, with the dude. guests every once in a while. <laughs> Chill it out, William. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm oh on edge God. right now. I have a fucking inversion right now. We got to get it out, buddy. What is your plan of action for getting it out? I think we're going to go to the clinic, the Planned Parenthood tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's a good one in Austin. I already... Yeah, I'm going to Planned Parenthood tomorrow. Wow. You thought about maybe hitting Six Flags, taking the roller coaster backwards. It doesn't work that way. I okay. did do that. Okay. I'm not I a did. science guy. Yeah, I did that several times you yesterday. You tried it. You tried it. I tried it. it right. It didn't what work. else did you do at Six Flags? Give us some of the things you love about Six Flags. Shit. I had a bunch of fruit by the foot in my <laughs> jacket pocket. Oh, uh, shit. That's pretty cool. Has some Cheerios what? in my jacket pocket. Has Six Flags. Man, my thing got inverted, y'all. <laughs> I have a serious inversion right now. I literally... <laughs> William, if you find out how to get the dick uninverted, I got a guy with a chest problem outside who can need yeah. to talk to that doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that guy. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's his heart? That's what I was thinking yeah, the whole time. Where's question. this guy's I fucking tell heart? You. It's a good question. Where was his I'll heart? I'll tell you what his chest taught me is that everyone's heart is not where I thought it was. Huh. <laughs> I was just wrong about where your heart is. <laughs> so, William, what else are you passionate about this week? Shit. Final four? four? No, four square. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've been playing yeah, a bunch of four square. What do you mean final four? The final four, the NCAA basketball tournament. It's pretty big in America. My team's out of it. Oh, okay. well, who was your team? Yeshiva Mar University? <laughs> no, Marquette. No. Oh. No, I'm kidding. Happy late April Fool's Day. I hate Marquette. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't stand Marquette. Oh, shit. <laughs> My shit's inverted tonight. Oh, shit. And I swear to God, I'm going to find the owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. 
fucking hide up in his tree, do a fucking rope down. I will trap his fucking ass. The owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. Is he in here right now? Is the owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. Oh, this guy says he's the owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. No, he wouldn't have the balls. <laughs> Who yeah, not a little pussy like that. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like your ass is inverted, man. <laughs> Show us. I mean, is it inverted? Can you? All right, William. I'm kidding. So uh, everything is going good. Anything else you want to talk about before we go? I started swimming again a little bit, and I bought the Speedo on eBay. I love buying stuff on eBay, and I I found there's this whole subculture of people. I bought this, and it ended up costing me $2,000, the Speedo. It was on this... Real hunky looking guy, but the Speedo is really cool. That's the main reason I got it. But yeah, there's this whole subculture of people selling these used Speedos on eBay. If anybody needed to know that, yeah, it's a really thriving subculture on eBay. It's two thousand fucking dollars though. So do you wear it a lot? Oh yeah. Do you ever take it off? No. <laughs> and I'm never gonna take that Speedo off. Apex, Apex Twin is literally playing at the coronation. What are you going to wear? Shit, I'm going to wear the Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Uh, <laughs> how loud can this place get for the great William Montgomery, everybody? One, two, three, four. <laughs> and how loud can this place get for my guests, Big J Okerson and Ari Shabir? The drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is in. He drew this episode while you guys sat there. That's Ari Shafir and Big J. Okerson. Red Band is forcing me to get the phone away from Ari before Red Band tweets that he loves Big Black Hawk. Here's the drawing from Chris Rogers while you were all here doing nothing. He drew Hans Kim in a cowboy hat. I know a guy that lives by the border that might want to buy that after the show. Chris Rogers art. Guys, make some noise for this fucking screwball peanut butter whiskey band, huh? Paul Deemer on the horns. The great Michael Gonzalez on the drums. D Madness on the bass guitar, everybody. John D's on the keys. And Mr. Trans Cans himself, Matt Muling on the electric. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you to the Red Rose, the Yellow Rose, Austin Security Guard Service, Gel Blaster, Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. Love you guys. Thank you. Good night, everybody.